Right, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we have Simon from formerly known as Strong Media. No, now you're just Simon. <laughs> <laughs> we took his identity from him. I'm only joking. Simon from Strong Media. Um, he's going to talk us through his journey on social media and some tips for you on how to get the most out of your social media. When did you start growing this account now? Or like when you like properly start putting effort into it? Um... So I had the I had, I had the strong media account running while I was still doing my fitness business because I was running sort of like both both businesses side by side. Um, then sort of when I went full time with this side of things was just before COVID, and obviously because of COVID and what happened, everyone wanted to go online and the services that we offered for online coaches. The sort of the business sort of blew up. So uh, it was around that. Yeah, it was around sort of like. After that, after that first lockdown, when sort of the business had, had sort of like smoothed everything out with the business, we'd got our packages sorted and then sort of started properly putting co time and effort into the content then because we were spending so much time building content for other coaches. Sort of our content sort of got yeah. brushed aside, uh, which is a bit of a mad thing when, you, when, when you're telling people to put out content and then you're not doing anything yourself so yeah it was really it, it was really it's probably only been probably nine months that we've actually been properly like focusing on our own content only because the the business was didn't have the structure i was basically doing everything for, yeah, yeah, for the sure. first year in the business it wasn't really until i got staffing and stuff that i could focus actually some time on on, on growing growing the growing the account what have you grown it to you know it's five five thousand no uh, uh eight thousand has it got to eight now yeah yeah in nine months think we're growing about a thousand a month at the minute right so that would be really useful to people to know yeah what's your strategy for growing an account at a thousand followers a month yeah just smashing the back doors out of video <laughs> yeah no, no, but, right. no if, if i'm serious if you if you've not watched killian's video we'll pop that up um, here now, that's like a, a a really good breakdown of this. But the first thing I'd do is 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 niche down because when you're working within a niche, it's going to make coming up with your content ideas so much easier. So the first thing is research uh, your niche, what niche you want to work with. Double down on video content because as as of making this video, and you know, with when TikTok came out, it sort of changed the landscape of social media platforms. Instagram, TikTok, it's a video sharing platform. You need to be posting daily video content if you want to be, uh, if you want to grow your audience or if you have got an audience and the account's dead, video content is literally the only way to grow at the minute. So that's for accounts that have kind of dropped in engagement massively. Yeah, because there's a lot of those. Yeah, there's, we we yeah. deal with a lot of dead accounts, I, yeah. I find. And, people and, that and, like have got, people come to us and like, oh, I've got five, 6,000 followers. And you're thinking, it should be all right. Yeah. It'd be easy. How oh, are you only doing this amount of money? And then obviously you get hold of it and you're like, oh my yeah. God, you're getting like four responses. Yeah, to it, because the, the way that the Instagram algorithm works is when you're creating video content, if you've got a, if, you, if you're if you putting out content and you're only reaching 10% of um, so say for instance, you've got an account that's doing, uh, that you've got 5,000 followers and your average reach for your reels is only getting like 500 views. Then the way that the Instagram algorithm works, when you create a piece of video content, it shows that video content to a very small percentage of your audience. So generally the people that are like highest on your story views or the ones that are replying to comments. And they're basically like the X factor judges of whether that content is good. If they like, watch it all the way through, engage in it or save it, then that content gets put out to more people. So, you know, if you focus on making content for your current audience, your videos and your content will get shared to a new audience. And there's never been a better time to be growing on social media than it is right now. Yeah, I feel obviously since we made the changes of our social media, like I found that we used to we used to have to do a lot more to grow yeah. the audience in the way we, that it was. We've there was got, a lot more manual work. A thousand a month on yours now, aren't we? Yeah, it's a thousand a month. Yeah, which obviously extrapolated over. Does that snowball then? So yeah, like, yeah. Obviously, as the account gets bigger, because like we saw Killian's obviously go from. I mean, it was jumping by like a thousand a day at no, one point. No, four thousand a day. F fucking hell. Four thousand. Imagine a having day. four thousand potential new customers know, a day. It's mad. Imagine, imagine if we were doing this job. 15 years ago, how long it would take you to drop off 4,000 leaflets in a day through Sick people's them, doors? Yeah. Like, I don't think people realise how lucky we are to have this 
platform where we can, you know, put our products in front of so many people. You know, it's it's actually so easy to do now compared to what it was 15 years ago. And people complain about social media and the algorithm. It, you know, if, if your content's not working, you're making shit content. Yes, right. So three key points then for people. So we've already discussed do video every day yeah. or do video as much as you can. But I would say, to be fair, if you want to grow a business and you're not able to make a video a day, you probably need to fucking wobble yourself, right? So video a day, what three key things are we looking for within that to make sure that we get the growth that they want. Yeah, so social media has changed massively since TikTok came about, right? So you'll be you, you, you'll be exactly the same as me because we grew our business on pain point marketing. So you know a lot of pain point marketing. That's what the that's what we did as a marketing tool probably three years ago. Now people don't come, and this is because of TikTok, people don't come to social media to be told how shit their lives are anymore. They come to social media to be entertained and to learn things. So the first thing is make sure that you're providing content that is not only entertaining, yeah, but that's also adding value to people's lives because that save button is like the super like. That's the that's the thing that you should be tracking the most with your content is that content being saved because that's basically telling the Instagram algorithm that there's a lot of saves. It's like Instagram's like, yeah, this content's obviously sick. What do you mean by entertaining? Because some people can take that like they have to be a fucking... Well, just not being a fucking fitness robot. Like, because I see it all the time. That's probably the mistake that I see most coaches make is... And I speak to a lot of coaches and I speak to a lot of coaches that I might have seen their content and then I speak to them on, on a call or I meet them in person. And it's like they're a completely different person because I think, and, and I think this is just something that comes with experience because when when a lot of coaches like make video content, they, they, they turn into like this robot and just trying to- Yeah, I've looked at some and think you're fucking dry lunch, you mate. Yeah, but I, I've I've looked at that and then I've met them in person and they're not like, and people I've, aren't yeah, like that. Yeah, but I've done the I mean? opposite as well. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, you can do the opposite. Do you think you've, there's a place on social media for people like that nowadays? For for, for what, sorry? People that are just generally dry. Um, yeah, because I think I, th I, th I think again niche because if you if you're dry as long as you've got no some not sort like, of no sense not dry humor like ah, right. just boring oh right yeah you're not going to do well on social media if you fucking because I are, think yeah. now what the what the what the diversion is going to be right is social media is going to be the main driver of most people's business the faces of the business and the business owners will be the ones that are actually more entertaining and more personable. And a lot of the boring, good coaches will actually end up working for other people. Yeah, well, I, some of the best coaches that I've ever worked with, because cause unfortunately, this is going to sound harsh, this, but you can't teach someone to have a good personality. So, you know, some of the best coaches that I've worked with, and I, I'm talking like best coaches in terms of like their knowledge, their yeah, skill, training. their tr yeah, the training that they've been on, like... Like when I first started as a coach, I knew fuck all about training, nothing. I, I got my level two, went and worked in a gym. I don't know, didn't know anything about training, but because I had a bit of a personality and I had a bit of a gob and I was on the gym floor networking and marketing myself, I was the busiest coach on the gym floor. So yeah, unfortunately you can't teach someone to have a personality, but you know, most people out there, you know, even if you think that you might be a bit boring, this. You've just got to lean into that person, into like those little quirky things that you are. You know, if you've got a dry sense of humor, you will attract people with a dry sense of humor. If you're like loud and brash, a bit similar to maybe how me and you are, we will attract that type of that type of coach. We probably wouldn't attract like little mousy, like people who are just like a bit shy and quiet. So you've just got to sort of lean into your personality. Okay, so video content daily. Make sure that it's both entertaining and valuable. Final tip. Yeah, this is probably the the most important thing is you've got to be you've got to enjoy it, right? Because if you're an online coach now, right, the difference from when we were probably when we when I was coaching anyway, was the job role is completely different. Not only are you a a coach, a mentor, a friend, a business owner, right? You are full time content creators. Right? That is part of your job. If not, one of the most important parts of your job is to be a content creator, right? And you've got to learn right, to enjoy that. And what I mean by that is 
the more time and effort that you put into leveling up your skills in terms of creating video content, filming, editing, right? The easier the whole process of creating content is going to be, right? So the easier that process will be, the more enjoyable it will become because it is, I, I, it's why I'm doing what I do today. Like, you know, I, you know, I, I, in my coaching business, I didn't really actually enjoy the coaching side of things. The thing that I enjoyed most was making the video content, whether that was like for like onboarding videos or education portal videos or more social media content now. Like that was the thing that I enjoyed most. And it was because I spent six months making fucking shit videos and learning how to like work my phone or my camera and learning how to edit videos. I didn't really enjoy that first six months, right? But now like I absolutely love it, right? And you will get to that stage if you're someone out there right now that does get frustrated with making video content because you're having to like do retakes and all that type type of stuff. Like it does become easier. Like similar to, similar to you, actually. I, I was we, we were talking about this the other day. So we've we've ju- obviously we've launched the YouTube channel recently. When I got access to the YouTube channel, I saw all your old videos. Been doing it though. Yeah, you do. It, they, the they, were, they were videos from like six years ago that he'd done with GRT, like whiteboard videos. I was just like, I'll just watch one of the videos, right? the difference of how you are on video now you so like you're so much better at video like i mean you weren't bad then but now like we did you don't phone we six did, years yeah though, we did you? 20 20 video 20 short form videos before we were on before we we came here one take every single one of them right that's not going to come as soon as you start making videos that's been a 6 year process probably even before then you were probably making videos yeah. maybe a year before whatever right it takes time you've just got to stick with it it's just like we when when you've got a new client that comes into the gym and they've never done a deadlift before, they're not going to fucking deadlift double body weight straight away. Are they? There's a process that they have to go through. You have to learn to hit skills. hinge. Yeah, you skills. have to do assistance skills, exercises skills, skills. To, to, to get better at it. But what I promise you now, right, if you put the time and effort into making video content, you will love it because it is fucking sick. And it's easy. And it's easy. It is. It's so Once you e- get in a rhythm of it, it's Yeah, easy. it's so easy to do now. You know, it's easier you, than writing. You've got, a, you've got an, an amazing camera in the palm of your hands. Most of you are probably listening to this podcast, uh, this YouTube video or watching it off a thousand pound video camera. Very true. Very true. So... Simon, if people want to find out a little bit more, you have a course, right? Yeah, Strong Media Academy. What's the course about? So this teaches Keep it short, you, though. yeah, this teaches you a step-by-step guide on everything that you need to know about uh, video editing and photo, specifically for um, fitness business owners. So if you want to. Um, create onboarding videos, education portal videos, social media content, um, smartphone photography. It's all done for smartphones. So I teach you the whole process. Um, you can find out more information at strong underscore media on Instagram and TikTok. And I'm going to put some business modules in there to line yeah, it up. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Thank you very much. If you want to learn more about that, you want to see more of Simon with the content stuff. We obviously he does a lot with us within the um, collective coaching program. Make sure you like, subscribe, up, down. I forgot where the buttons are now. They're subscribe everywhere. down. They're everywhere. They're down. Everywhere. Subscribe is down, the bell is up. Is it up? Bell's <laughs> up, subscribe down. Peace up. <laughs> <It's off>. <laughs> <laughs> Done. <laughs>